My name is Chloe Cole. I'm 18 years old and I am a former transgender kid. After I got my first phone at 11, I started using Instagram and Snapchat. I started seeing a lot of content that was either feminist or centered around the LGBT, oftentimes very sexual in nature. I was seeing very idealized images of adult women's bodies that I would often compare myself to, and I felt like I couldn't really match up. I started to develop quite a negative view of growing from a girl into a woman. At school, I found it difficult to make and keep friends. I was often an outcast, especially from, from other girls. I hit puberty at quite a young age. I started getting comments on my body from my other female peers. I started to think like, well, I'm not like other girls. I might just be better off as a boy. And eventually I landed on, well, I guess it just makes sense that I'm actually just not a girl at all. Just, I'm just a boy. I was 12. I, I was around 12 or 13. I, I fell pretty easily into this. I was an impressionable kid. I was sexually assaulted in classroom in eighth grade. That taught me that this part of me would only bring me pain and attention that I didn't want. I didn't realize at the time just how much of a role it played in me eventually deciding to get a mastectomy. By the time I did, it was, it was far too late. When I started the blockers, once all the hormones cleared out of my body, I did have a bit of a honeymoon period starting on testosterone. My hair got thicker, my eyebrows got thicker, my jawline got sharper, and I started to develop a lot more muscle. But it started to cause me some problems physically and emotionally. I started experiencing a lot more anxiety and just a lot of a lot more negative emotions in general. I was 15 years old. I was in my sophomore year when I decided that I wanted to undergo a double mastectomy as they were preparing me for the surgery and checking all my vitals and eventually rolling me into the operation room. I got more and more nervous. I'd say the regret started to creep in a little bit about a few months after my surgery. But it wasn't until I had taken a psychology class and learned a little bit more about child development and breastfeeding that I would no longer be able to breastfeed. At the time, you know, I was just a 15 year old. I realized that I had taken so much more for myself than my breasts. I was allowed to make this decision at far too young of an age. If I were to go back in time and speak to my 12 year old self, I would let her know that she's worth so much more than her body and the way that she presents herself and the way that she thinks other people perceive her. It's infinitely more important that she spends time with her family and her friends and getting involved in her community. I've gone through a lot of hardships and I don't think anything else in my life has affected me nearly as much as transitioning and stopping transitioning has but I've, I've managed to keep my head up and I would attribute that mostly to having people around me who I know really support me and care about me. Now that I've seen it all, I just can't imagine operating on a kid like that in good conscience.